The other thing about the styrofoam plates that's really good is if it is not repelling on the styrofoam plates, it'll probably work on the fondant too. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of color on both sides. I've already worked it in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stroke. And I can go back the same way. Don't flip the brush over. Now, you're gonna say, okay, doesn't that look like there's a piece missing in the middle? Don't worry about it. This almost looks very rustic. It looks like wood. Um, if you look at this closely, you can see almost the striations. Now, if that does trouble you, what you're gonna do is go back in, pick up some more paint. Make sure again you're on the right side and you'll go ahead and work that back in some more. This is very forgiving, you can go back over. Now see, there you go, okay? So in one stroke it goes from dark to kind of a medium color to a white. Okay, now that is the flat brush, that's how that works. Now to clean our brush, you're going to hear, can you hear that? You want to rub that ferrule up against those ridges because we're taking all of that color out of the, out of the paintbrush. You want to hear that. When you're taking a painting class, it's really annoying actually, but um, they're doing the job. Then what you're going to do is take that brush out, and again, you're going to wring that with your fingers and put it back into shape again. Okay? That's brush number one. Brush number two, the liner brush. A little bit different technique. What you're going to do, again, you're going to pick up some clean water and we're gonna pick up some brown. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work that and keep working it until this is about the consistency of ink. Um, because this liner brush has got a really light, delicate touch to it, and it's not quite inky enough yet. Okay, that's about the consistency of ink. Really important with this brush, what you're gonna do is to shape the brush, you're going to roll it to a point. See how I'm rolling and twisting that? And I've got a nice point on that. Now, with this brush, I always tease the students, pinky up. If you grab it like this, you're not gonna have as much control, so pinky up on this one, straight up and down, and you just go in circles. Not lifting up, okay? Important, pinky up. Think of this as drinking tea. Okay, again, just straight up and down, and pinky up. Okay, and that will make little tendrils. Um, that will also do some, um, some highlighting, um, little lines like in the wood. We'll use this for the lines in the wood house, in the bird house. Now, this paintbrush also has two ends in it. To make a circle, to make a nice circle, and you're going to look at that and say, oh, look at those perfect little circles on that bird house. Well, no, I can't draw perfect little circles, and neither can anybody else. So what you're going to do with that, and let's take a larger one so you can see it. You're going to take the end of your brush, you're going to dip that into your paint. And you're going to just turn that down. You've got a perfect circle. So these brushes actually do all the work. We're just guiding them is all we're doing. Okay, so you've learned how to use the flat brush, both ends. You've learned how to use the liner brush. The last brush we're going to be using is the scruffy. And all of the brushes basically have to be wet before you start. This is the only brush, and I repeat, the only brush that you will not wet first. And what you're going to want to do is just spread those bristles out. Just take your thumb, and this one you want to just, you can use and abuse this. Having a bad day with your husband, just take your scruffy out and just mangle that thing. The middle one I still. 